Rebecca Louise, and today I'm going to teach you how to get a six pack. Okay, so we've got lots of exercises, going to keep you motivated and work towards getting that belly that you guys want. So come down to the ground, come onto your mat, make sure you have something that's supporting underneath you, going to support your back and your neck. You're going to come down. Now, in between each exercise, okay, we're going to do reach throughs. So we're just going to push your hands in between our legs. We've got 15 reps of everything. First exercise, your hands are going to go behind your head and you're going to squeeze up. You've just got 15. We're just working up our abs, okay? So just a light warm up. Really want you to squeeze from your abs. Don't just yank your shoulders off the ground. Squeeze in from those abs. Good job, everyone. Keep it going. You've got 15 of each. Breathe in and out. Squeeze those abs. Pull the shoulders off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to do those reach throughs. So hands in between your legs. Get your feet comfortable. And you're just going to come up a little bit further than you did with those crunches. Breathe in. Now guys, you really are going to be working your abs for this whole 15 minutes. You're really going to give them a good abs blaster. So make sure you keep continuing to do the video to strengthen your muscles. 20% of how you look and feel is down to nutrition though. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now coming up to sitting, we're gonna do those bicycles. So extend one leg out in front of you. You're gonna twist over and you're gonna go one, two. Breathe in, squeeze those abs, straighten that leg out and really twist that body. Keep it going. Breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming back down, we've got those reach throughs. This is where you're gonna really feel the burn in that belly, guys. Keep it going. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Squeeze. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, we're gonna take you into those bicycles. So one leg up, one leg straight. We're gonna twist round. We've got 15. Keep your tummy pulled in. Really twist round as far as you can go. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Really squeeze. If you wanna increase the intensity, you can just lean back slightly. Give me one more. Okay, coming down for those push throughs. This is where you're really gonna feel it in those abs. So hands in between your legs and just come up using your abs. Never use the momentum of your shoulders to bring you off the ground. You want to squeeze those abs. Woo! Come on guys, we can do this. Just think about that six pack. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to stay on the ground. You're going to extend your legs up into the ceiling. You're going to put your hands in un either underneath your bottom or out to the side and you're gonna drop down to a couple of inches off the ground and then pull your knees into your chest and extend up. You've done one. That's it guys. Just really think about the control. Keep your legs nice and straight. Bring them a couple of inches off the ground and then in towards your chest. Bring it down and in. Now if you guys at home, if you want a six pack, you're nailing the 20% of exercise. But it's all down to nutrition. 80%, guys, that's a huge number. Bring your legs up and down. Abs are made in the kitchen. We see it red everywhere and it's so true. I didn't get these abs from just working out constantly. You gotta add the 80% nutrition. Legs down, see if you can just get a little bit lower. Hold at the bottom and pull in. Keep it going, give me five, four, and three. Come on guys, keep it going. Remember what we've got next. We've got those push throughs. Down. And the last one. Down we go. Open those legs and let's push through for 15. Breathing in and out. So exhale on the push through. Use those abs. You're gonna be able to feel it. Each time it's gonna get harder 
and harder, but this is really gonna be burning whew, your belly. Two, one, legs back up. We're gonna do one leg at a time. So you're gonna have your hands underneath your butt, you're gonna bring your legs down, and you're gonna raise a leg. So we've got 15. Bringing it down, really squeeze those abs, put the abs and your back into the ground. You shouldn't be able to put your hands underneath you. Squeeze, oh my goodness, my abs are burning, but baby, it feels so good. Come on guys, keep it going. Squeeze those legs, squeeze those abs. Bring your back into the ground. And at any time your back is coming off the ground, you need to lift your legs a little bit higher. Okay, really important that you keep your back flat on the ground. Give me one more. And down, okay. Let's do those push throughs. Remember, you're not using the momentum from your shoulders, using your abs. So squeeze the abs, put your hand on your abs, give them a squeeze and use those muscles to bring you up. Just 15 guys, you can do it. Keep working yourself, keep pushing. Remember, if you think you can, if you think you can't, you're right. And today guys, we can do it. Five, four, three, two, one, and hydrate. Make sure that you have your hydration bottle next to you. Anytime that you're exercising, guys, so, so important that you keep yourself hydrated every two, three minutes. You wanna give your body what it needs to be able to continue working out. Water is not enough. You need hydrate or H3O or something that's got electrolytes in it to maximize your performance. Okay, you need to flip over onto your front. Okay, you're gonna get into a plank, so your hands need to be directly underneath your shoulders. And we're gonna twist over to one side, arm up, you're gonna pull in your abs, okay? So pull in those obliques, push your pelvis up, and then come center yourself, and then switch over to the other side. So each time you come over, you wanna really pull up in the middle. Over you go, squeeze up. Good job, everyone. Option number two, you can come down to your knees and then just keep twisting. But when you put your arm up into the air, you want it to be straight up. Don't let it come too far back because you're just gonna knock yourself over. Square up and over you go again. Woo, we've got this guys. Think about how your waist is gonna look. Unbelievable. Pull up and let's go again. Remember to adjust those feet. Breathe in, keep it going. Five. Four. Take a look at your posture. Are you pulling in, pulling up your hips? Two. And the last one. Squeeze it all the way up. Hold it and release. Flipping straight over, going straight into those push throughs. Okay, hands up and let's go. Squeeze your abs. Breathe in and breathe out. Really using your abs, guys. You want to use your abs to bring your shoulders up. Don't use the momentum of your arms. If you can only bring it up a small way, then take it to here. It's all about making sure that you're doing the correct form. Two. Oh, last one. Now onto your side. You're gonna come up into a side plank. Hold it up here, and you're gonna bring your knee and your elbow, and they're gonna touch, and then you're gonna straighten out. So nice, slow, and controlled. Straighten that arm out. This underneath the arm should be nice and straight. Pull in those obliques up to the side, and then squeeze this top oblique here, so you're crunching in. Good job. Squeeze it in. Stretch it out, pull up nice and tight, and go for it, guys. Come on, you've got this. Mind over matter, really squeeze. Five, four, three, two, Come on, last one, make it count. And there you go, come down. And we're gonna go into those pulse throughs and then we're gonna switch on to the other side. Okay, so through we go for 15. Use those abs, they should be really burning. Now what you wanna imagine is someone at the other end has got a rope and they're pulling you through. So you're just holding on to a rope and they're pulling you through. Squeeze those abs. Come on guys, you can do this. Keep squeezing. Five, four, three, two, last one. Woo, 
Okay, back over to that other side. So up we go in that side plank. So holding up here and you're gonna bring in the elbow and stretch it out. Nice, slow and controlled. Woo! You got this guys. Think how strong you're feeling. And if you only manage to do one, that's okay because it's all about progression. You've got to start somewhere. And if you keep on working out, if you keep following the video, you're going to see yourself improving over time. And that's what the most important thing is. Squeeze. That's it, guys. You've got it. Five, four, three, two, and set. One more. Squeeze and extend. Come down. And let's go for those push throughs. Oh, my abs are burning. They feel on fire, but I feel good. Let's do this. 15. Breathing in. And then out as you push through. We're feeling good. We're feeling ready to go. My abs are looking amazing. And it's all down to nutrition and exercise. You put them together, you're going to get yourself some abs. You're going to feel amazing. You're going to give yourself energy. Two. One. Now I want you to flip over again. Get yourself into that plank position. Okay, so up you come. What I want you to do, nice straight line. You're gonna tap out to the side. You got 15 taps. That's it, keep your belly pulled in. Feel that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. And squeeze those abs. Okay, think about pulling your belly up to the spine. And breathe in and out. Woo! You got this guys. Keep working. Five, four, three, two, one. And back down again for those push throughs. No rest. We're going to be burning lots and lots of fat and working these ab muscles. So through we go. 15. Think about it. Are you using your ab muscles? Are you using your shoulders? If you think you're using your shoulders, then just come up a very small amount. Put your hand on your belly and then just squeeze your abs. You want to make sure that you're doing the exercise properly so you're getting maximum results. Woo! Five, four, three, two. Come on, give me one more. Good job. Okay, we've done it on one side. We've got to switch it over and do it the other side. So back up into that plank. Up you come. Make sure that you're Bottom is in a nice straight line with your back. I'm going to touch out to the side. Woo, for 15. Come on, guys, push it. Push yourself to limits that you never thought was possible. If you want to do the advanced option, don't tap it to the side. Just keep your leg raised and out and in. Option number two, you can come down to your knees. The main thing is, is that you keep your body moving. Three, two, one. And let's go for those push throughs. You start to really feel the burn on the push throughs. Whew, I certainly am. Let's go for it. Squeeze it up. One, two. Good job, guys. Keep up this good work. It's just time, remember. Breathing in and out. Relax that neck. Using those abs to pull you up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, it's time for hydration break. Make sure that you've got your hydration bottles near you and hydrate every two to three minutes. Really important. Okay, flipping back over onto your tummies. You're gonna get into the plank position. You're gonna get a nice neutral spine. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drop your hips so they're almost touching the floor, okay? Just either side like this. When you come back to the middle, you're gonna keep yourself nice and centered. So 15, we're gonna drop it down and then come back up. Make sure your bottom stays down. Woo, that's good guys. This is really good for your sides, for those oblique muscles. So if you're trying to thin in the waist, great exercise for that. Drop it down and then make sure you do come back to the center. So you center yourself to drop back down again. Good job, keep it going. See if you can just slightly touch the floor and then come back up again. Squeeze it. Good job. Keep it going, guys. Keep that tummy pulled in. Five to go. Five, four, three. 
get centered. Two. And one more. Come on, you can do it. Push it to the middle and let's flip over. Woo. And do those brilliant push throughs. Come down and let's go. Squeeze those abs. Just 15. You can do this. Mind over matter, remember. And if you want those abs, you've got to work for them. So keep pushing yourself and breathe. You're doing fabulous, everyone. You've got to keep it going. Over halfway. Breathe. Five, four, three, two. Squeeze. One. Okay. Legs up into the air. We're going to touch our toes. Okay. So again, you're just lifting your shoulders off the ground, but you're using your abs. So arms up and you're going to reach up. And you want to really make sure that your neck is intense. Really relax your neck. If you need to, you can put your head into your hand and give your head some support. So we've got 15. Keep those legs straight and let's go up. Work in those lower abs. So the lower abs, really, really hard part of your body to work. So this is a great exercise. Squeeze up. Come on, guys. Keep it going. See if you can bring those shoulders a little bit further off the ground. And breathe. Squeeze. Good job, everyone. Keep it going. Keep those legs straight. Five, four, three, two. And give me one more. Make it count. And release. Legs down. Let's go through to those push throughs. And through we go for 15. Bring your chest and your shoulders off the ground. Squeeze those ab muscles. Feel your body working. Smile, guys. When you smile, it releases happy endorphins. Yay! Smile, it makes you feel good, makes the workout feel easier. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Good job. Okay, flipping back over. I know I'm making you go over and over and over, but that's because you're gonna be burning even more calories. So your next exercise, you're gonna get into a plank just like you did before. You're gonna hold the plank for a few seconds. You're gonna put your feet a little bit further than the hip width apart, and then you're gonna walk it into a downward dog. You wanna keep your spine, okay, with a nice like arch in it. You just wanna gently press your feet, your heels into the ground, and hold it there, okay? And then you're gonna come back, Nice and controlled, hold the plank for a few seconds and then we're going to move it up. We have 15, okay? So feel that stretch and stretching out the hamstrings, okay, the back of your legs. And then really controlled, you're going to bring yourself down, hold that plank and then up we go. Option number two is you're going to come down onto your knees, okay, hold the plank and then go into child's pose, so sitting back onto your feet. Make sure when you get back into the plank, you hold it where your body is in that neutral spine, okay? So nice and flat. We don't want your bottom sticking up in the air or dipping down. So hold it here. And then back up we go. This is great for your arms as well, guys. You're gonna get a good arm workout in. When you come down here, you wanna pull your belly into the spine. That's it. Keep it going, feel the nice stretch. Bring it back down into the plank. Hold it, and up we go. Woo! Feeling good, guys. Feeling energized. Keep it going. Squeeze that abs. Squeeze the abs. Pull the belly into the spine, and up you go. Stretch it out, and then down we go. We got five. This is number five of the last five. Come on, we can do this. Hold it. Four. Stretch it out. Number three. Come on guys, you've got to keep working. When your muscles start to fatigue, this is where you're really going to build your muscles and feel strong. Good job. Come on, we can do one more. Squeeze those abs. And then up we go for the last one. Stretch it out. Stretch it. Come back down. Hold the abs. And release those knees. Woo. Good job, everyone. Spinning it over. Coming down. And we're going to do push throughs. So we're getting those hands ready. And let's go for 15. Just breathing in and out. Really think about squeezing those ab muscles. Again, put your hands on your abs and use your abs to pull your shoulders off the ground. Go 
guys, you're on the home straight. You're almost done. Keep breathing. Awesome. Guys, how are you feeling? Your abs are feeling like they're on fire. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Okay, your last exercise, guys. Make sure you're making this one count. Your arms are gonna be over your head. Okay, your actually arms are gonna be by the side of your head. And you're gonna bring your knees into your chest. And you're gonna bring your body up as well. And then you're gonna go down. Okay, you've got 15. Let's do this. Squeeze in. Extend those legs out. And nice and gently down. You're gonna use your abs, guys, to pull you up. And then slowly, don't let yourself just plonk back down. You wanna do it nice and controlled. Keep your body tight. It's gonna burn more fat. Extend those legs. Down you go. Woo. Come on, guys. Squeeze your abs. It's gonna get harder. But this is where your body is really gonna to start to feel the change. You're gonna be working those abs. Woo. Come on, guys. We can do this. Keep squeezing. Up you come. Breathe in and out. Just a few more to go, guys. Really squeeze those abs. Extend the legs out. Nice and gently coming down. Don't use the momentum of your arms, okay? You gotta use your abs. Breathe in and breathe out. Five to go, guys. Come on, you can do this. Five. And then we've just got our push throughs left. And then you're done. Woo! If you need to bring your arms out in front of you, you can do that. You're gonna get harder, okay? But we're gonna push our bodies, pushing our bodies to the max. Squeeze those abs in and extending out. Come on, two more. Squeeze. Gently, gently, gently. Down you go. Come on, last one. Ready? Three, two, one. Squeeze. Hold it, hold it. And gently go down. Gonna make this one a double whammy. Down we go. Nice and gently. Ooh, okay. Last 15 push throughs. Get yourself comfortable and off we go. 15. Squeeze the abs. Breathe in, breathe out. This is your home straight, guys. You're nearly finished. Keep working. Don't give up now. If you're just still moving your body, so just bringing your shoulders off the ground. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Whew. Good job. Okay, just flip over into your front. I'm just gonna do a quick stretch for the abs. So putting your hand by your chest and just stretching up. Okay, feel a nice stretch out of your abs. Inhale and exhale. Good job, and then come back. I want you to sit down into child's pose. You're just gonna stretch out those arms, stretch out the shoulders. Where we're doing the planks, we're putting pressure on there, so just wanna give it a nice stretch. And then gently work your hands and come up to standard. Fantastic! You guys did incredible. So, so important though, guys, that after you finish your workout, you feed yourself what your body needs. The last thing that you wanna do is go and have white carbs, okay, or anything that has sugar in, because that's just gonna turn to fat. And this is what you guys have just tried to get rid of. You're trying to get rid of the fat. So really important, however you get your post-recovery shake, it's gotta have protein in it really, really important, and you have a 30 minute window. So whenever you're around and you're doing exercise, make sure you have some handy, just like I have here. This is my one, it's my favorite one. It tastes like chocolate, it's unbelievable, you'll love it. Um, I always have my post recovery shake afterwards, because you know what, it maximizes my results every single time I go to the gym, and I love it. Thanks guys for working out with me today. I'm Rebecca Louise, and I hope to see you again soon.